What's up everyone my name is Matsudan and in this video we'll cover the Photoshop Express tutorial for iOS. Before I begin, this tutorial is for iPhone edited photos from other people. Holding on a photo shows the original photo. You can easily copy the edits and apply it to your photos. Moving to the edit menu, you find the most recent photos here. You can also tap on the top to open photos from Lightroom, Library, Creative Cloud and more. Let's open this photo here. On the edit screen, on the top, we have the undo and redo buttons alongside the auto tune and compare with original options. Next to that, we have premium and export options. In addition to the basic file formats, Photoshop Express also supports raw photos. Down the bottom, we have the editing tools. The first option is called the themes menu. Here you find some of the themes to apply to the photo. There are quite many themes and most are free. You can edit each component of the theme if you want. The next option we have is the looks option. Here we have over 100 looks to choose from. You can also slide on this line to increase and decrease the opacity level of the effect. You can set a custom look and save to use later. The next tool is called overlays, also called lights. The app offers around 85 lights to decorate the photo. Some lights have slider while some don't. And unlike the looks, you can't save the lights for later use. The auto tune option on the top can help you auto tune the image by doing some small color tweaks to the photo. The third option is the crop option. The app comes with some built in aspect ratios for social media which can be handy and you can rotate the photo and flip horizontally and vertically. The last tool is the transform option. Here you can auto transform the picture or take the matter in your own hands and manually change the skew. You can also select the balanced auto which will try to crop and transform together. Next to that tool we have the adjustment feature. It comes with many options all with a slider to adjust the opacity of the effect. The next option is the split tone option. I don't touch this tool very often, but it can help you add some extra colors to the photo. The next option is the blur option. It only offers a circle and a full screen option. The circle called red dial allows you to move and change the circle radius. And if you want to blur inside of the circle or the outside, the option is available too. The blur also allows blurring the whole photo you can slide on the slider to adjust the blur opacity. The last tool is the vignette tool. You get the amount option which makes the corners white and black. And the rest of the tools work with the amount tool. You can change the midpoint of the vignette, blur or make the edges solid. And finally change the design of the vignette corners. The heal option can help remove the blemishes. The app is good enough to do basic skin tones and work great if used wisely. The next is the red eye remover. We don't have any red eye, but if you have any red eye in the photo, zoom into the eye and tap on it so that the tool can easily detect and fix it. The pet eye feature on iOS is premium, but it's free on Android. The tool can fix the red eye of your pet's eyes. The next common tool is the text tool. You get many styles to choose from. Just tap on each to add to the photo. Double tap on the text to edit. Different text styles come with the slider to adjust the transparency. You can change the size of the text by holding on the bottom left edge. The other three options are for rotating, editing the text and removing it from the photo. You can add multiple by tapping anywhere on the image and then tapping on another text. You can also change the font, phone color and text alignment. The font color also comes with the color picker wheel which enables more options. You can browse themes and saved colors or put in the hex or RGB codes in the menu if you have the color code. The stroke option is unique to iOS. It offers to add some nice borders to the text. You can adjust the border radius with the slider. Just like the text, you can add stickers. The app comes with over 70 stickers, all categorized above. Just tap on each to add. You can add multiple like the text. The bottom right option is the size option while the other two are for rotating and removing the sticker. The last tool we have is the borders tool. You can add different kinds of frames to the photo. 
frames don't come with the slider so you can't adjust the thickness. The next tool is pretty cool. It's not available on Android. You can select one of the effects and give a nice 3D effect to the photo. The app downloads from the internet so the internet connection is a must. You also have an option to send the photo to Photoshop desktop to edit the image further. Let's go back to the home screen. You can create collages. The option will open a selection menu where you can choose different photos. On the collage screen, you get many layout options to choose from. Some are free and some are not. You can also edit each image by tapping on it and then tapping on the edit. Just come back after making the changes. You can add an effect to the collage. The collage editor in iOS is much more advanced than in Android. Anyway, in the export menu, you find the photo quality and photo resolution. You can tap on each to adjust. You can add one of the pre-made watermarks, but the app on iOS does not allow to create your own. Once done, tap on the camera roll button to export the photo. So that's pretty much all Photoshop Express is. I hope the video helped you learn 